hello hello and welcome to our little path today i am bringing you something a little fun a little different um i really enjoy seeing uh different like what i wear videos and so i thought i would do a what i wear to mass video i have five different outfits that i'm going to be showing and i am like not into fashion <laughs> so bear with me but um i do like dresses and i like frilly girly dresses so if you like frilly girly dresses or need some new mass or church ideas i've got I wanted to remind you if you guys are new here or you are uh joining in but have not hit the subscribe button go ahead and hit that below um also if you hit the notification bell every time that i post you will be notified um when my videos go live so i would love for you to join me here on our journey and yeah let's jump into some dress so First off, um, I like wearing dresses to church. I It's my own personal preference. I do wear skirts also, um, but I have slowly shifted away from wearing even pants to church as well. And that's just kind of my own personal conviction. Um, I don't, if people are comfortable wearing pants, that's totally fine. I'm, I have no qualms about that. But um, for me personally, just kind of as my, faith journey has evolved over the past few years more so um I have really like felt that conviction to um really dress my best and um a lot of it um you could say it's you know modesty standards and things like that but modesty standards really um are kind of like a contentious um standard when you get to talk to, to other women or even sometimes men. It's various um, on where people hold their standards, but I think ultimately what is the most important is that modesty truly reflects where your heart is coming from. So you could be covered from head to toe, but if your heart is not modest, then it doesn't matter what you're wearing. Now that's to say like, you know, bare midriffs and, um, you know, skirts with your butt hanging out probably aren't the most modest choices, but, um, you know, maybe a, a pool, then yeah, there are some differences of what kind of, um, you know, how much skin is being shown. I really like sleeveless tops, uh, but I try to go thicker. So, I mean, uh, that's, some people might not wear that. Um, so I think ultimately like modesty standards differ for most people, but I think what the ultimate goal is, is that you are trying to, um, trying to, I don't know how to say it. I wouldn't say share your heart, but to like share your humility of heart or to, um, guard your heart in some cases for people. But, um, I don't think that like the way that some people dress should ultimately, uh, you know, be placed on someone else's, how they're going to react to it. Um, ultimately, it, it needs to be coming from your heart and your choices. So it's probably my little spiel on modesty. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today because I just want to have a fun, lighthearted video on some dresses. But that's kind of where I'm coming from is for me, I wear dresses and skirts to church. That's important to me. My daughter wears dresses and skirts to church. Um, I also veil at church and that's something I started, uh, at the beginning of this past year, um, in Advent and, um, I've really fallen in love with it and I will probably eventually do a veiling video. Um, it's just really hard to put that into words and to kind of like, um, I don't know, put that into words for me right now. So about why and how I chose to do it and why I felt convicted to be, to be veiling at mass. But where I come from with some of my choices on what I'm wearing at church, um, if you go to um, the Vatican, there is a dress code there. I'm pretty sure it's knee length skirts or longer. Your shoulders have to be covered. Um, and that like they, you don't get into the Vatican unless you're dressed appropriately. So, uh, I kind of took that as like my baseline of where and how to kind of, um, dress for mass. And ultimately, um, you know, we get a little taste of heaven on earth at the altar. And so if you're going to mass and you're there with Jesus experiencing heaven on earth, how would you want to be dressed and how would you want to, um, meet Jesus face to face. So, um, yeah, 
that's kind of how I guide the things that I wear. So um, I'm going to roll into some of the videos and I'll talk over them to talk about some of my dress choices. Again, I am no fashion uh, expert whatsoever. It's cute. I buy it. Um, and that's kind of where I go. This has been one of my favorite dresses for the summer. Um, and it's just a dress I found on Amazon. It's got a cute little wrap top with the empire waist and some pockets. All right, this blue dress has been super light and comfortable to wear on really hot days. And I really have enjoyed the embroidery on it. I'm kind of on an embroidery, um, I don't know, bandwagon right now. All right, here is one of my go-to skirts that I wear a lot. It's just a really comfortable, long maxi skirt. And this dress is newer to me and um, I just was kind of looking for something a little more billowy in the sleeves and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So one tip that I have is our generation apparently, well not our generation, our trends right now um, is crop tops and I cannot, I cannot. Um, so that has just never been something, even when I was in high school, that one, I was allowed to wear, but let alone like wanted to wear. <laughs> um, but crop tops are really good layering pieces. So I found a nice crop top on Amazon. It's just a cotton crop, crop top and it works really well for layering under. I have the next dress I'll show you. I am wearing the crop top under it. Um, and for me, like being a former breastfeeding mom. I breastfed all three of my kids till like around two years. So um, I was always layering and I hate having something on my stomach because in Arizona it is hot. Like I don't want that kind of layer. And so um, I wish I would have had more crop tops when I was breastfeeding. So um, I will link the crop top below because it's actually really super comfortable underneath your clothes and you're not super hot. Here is the crop top paired with this dress. It does cut quite low, so the crop top just kind of helps uh, add a little more coverage. And as you can see, I am <laughs> filming with my sweet little toddler running around and he was just being hilarious with this cat toy here. Anyways, so those are all the dresses that um, I'm showing today. I have a lot more dresses than that, but these have been kind of my summer go-to dress styles for church. And yeah, I hope that you got some inspiration from it. If you were getting bored with what you're wearing to church and you needed some ideas, I, in the summer, definitely try to layer as little as possible. So finding dresses with sleeves and things like that are um, of utmost importance because I don't want to wear something in the heat, uh, like an extra wrap. So yeah, that is um, my dress choices. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, um, maybe I'll try to do um, some like seasonal ones uh, if you're needing inspiration. But again, I'm in Arizona, so you know, I probably won't be like the best <laughs> advice when it comes to winter stuff because winter we can still pretty much wear everything I was wearing maybe just throw a jacket on so yeah I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you soon bye